This is my trigger mechanism here that I added to my air rifle that I made. It was really simple, I didn't do much. I drilled a hole here, added a little bolt there, attached this, and then I also added a bolt here around which I wrapped a bunch of rubber bands. I drilled a little hole here so I could loop them around. So this puts tension on the ball valve. I can't even uh, open it, I can't even move it with my fingers, I have to use some pliers here. See like this, and then it automatically snaps back in a position, snaps open. This piece here comes down and is also under tension of rubber bands, like so. So, and then I also attach this little piece, see it just slides a little bit over. That's my trigger, my trigger here. It was actually a lot simpler than I thought it would have to be. So to cock the gun, basically, you shut the valve, put that in place, and as I said, this is under pressure by the rubber bands here, so if I let go, it automatically snaps open. So here, and then I slide this into place, and these bent wires keep it from opening. I pull the trigger and the valve instantly opens and the gun fires. Here I cocked it and I put air in the chamber so it's ready to fire like this. Boom. Now there was a slight hesitation on the valve to flip. I need to sand this down a little bit, it kind of catches it a little sometimes. But that's my trigger mechanism and I'm really happy with it, it works great. Right through the bottom of the can.